once Recon All has finished, it will populate the subdirectories for each subject with volumetric and surface data. Here's what the directory structure will look like for a single subject. The first five directories are the ones you will use the most. The last three, I honestly don't know what they do. Here's what's inside those first five directories. The label directory contains labels, which you can think of as regions of interest. This includes the atlas annotations for that subject. The MRI directory contains volumes, such as the intensity normalized brain, the skull stripped brain, and the subcortical segmentations. The scripts directory contains records of everything that happened during recon all. Nearly everything is in the file reconall.log. The stats directory contains structural measurements such as thickness and volume for each parcellation and segmentation. The surf directory contains surfaces such as the peel and inflated surfaces. Today we're going to look at the output of the MRI and surf directories using Freeview, FreeSurfer's viewing program. Navigate to a subject's directory and type Freeview. Load the anatomical image by clicking on File, Load Volume, navigate to the MRI directory, and load the file t1.mgz. This is the intensity normalized anatomical image. This is the view panel. It contains the image you loaded. A 3D brain is in the center panel, and the orthogonal slices are in the side panels. You can click and drag the slices to update the side panels, or you can highlight a side panel and use the up and down arrows to page through slices and update the 3D image. You can select different montages to change the layout of the images. If you click on any of the slices in the menu bar, that slice is presented in the center window. If you click on the head, a 3D view is presented. This is the control panel, which contains a list of all the images you have loaded. As you add more images, you will see them appear here. Load another image, the aseg.mgz file. This is a segmentation of the gray matter, white matter, and subcortical structures. Notice that the aseg image completely covers the T1 image. Think of the images as layers. Whichever is on top will cover the ones below it. You can change the hierarchy of the layers by clicking the up and down buttons. Now the T1 image is the top layer and can be seen. You can hide an image by unchecking the checkbox and make it reappear by checking it again. Also notice that highlighting an image will enable viewing options specific to that image. You can see these options in the toolbar located here. For example, if I wanted to change the color map of the ASEG image, I can select Color Map and then Lookup Table. This loads a set of colors that correspond to the segmentations. You can lower the opacity with the opacity slider to see how the ASEG image corresponds to the T1 image below it. Let's load some more volumes and surfaces. From the MRI folder, load white.mgz and brainmask.mgz. From the surf folder, load the white and peel surfaces as well as the inflated brains. Highlight lh.peel and rh.peel and change the edge color to red to better see the difference between tissue boundaries. It is important to view both the volumes and the surfaces simultaneously to make sure that the surfaces follow the expected boundaries on the anatomical images. You will be using this when we discuss failure modes, or how to repair data that was incorrectly parcelated or segmented during Recon All. Let's finish by looking at how to run Freeview from the command line. If you know what settings you want to use, you can save time by typing them from the terminal. The dash V option means that the following images will be volumes. The F option means that the following images will be surfaces. Colons signalize which option to use for that particular image. For example, the color map for aseg.mgz 
will be the lookup table, and the opacity will be 0.2. See if you can figure out what the other options mean, and experiment with changing the options to make them best suit your needs.